Hello everyone! Today's video will be a complete updated guide on how to set up server tags and enhanced role styles for your Discord server. These are the new boosting perks that Discord has been slowly rolling out and specifically I am making this a combined video for today uh, showing you how to set up both of these features as if we go to Discord's YouTube channel they actually just posted uh, four hours ago on June 17, 2025 which is today uh, that these perks are now available and if we actually look in the description of this video we can see that we are rolling out server tags and enhanced role styles uh, to all servers um, now yesterday I believe uh, this feature was actually rolled out to 50% uh, of servers and right when I saw that that video came out saying uh, that it is being rolled out to all of them uh, well specifically since discord actually released a video on it this probably means that it will roll out within the next day or two like it shouldn't take that long because they wouldn't make a video on a new perk unless it's actually going to be uh, uh, rolled out to everyone uh, so this is a major discord update that everyone will have in the next couple of days now by the way i have already made a video on creating your own server tag as well as how to get as many server tags as you can so if you do want a more in-depth version uh tutorial on server tags for either creating them or getting any any one that you'd like uh, you can watch those videos but of course i will show those uh once again in this video as well uh, as this is going to be uh, the complete guide for both the tags and the enhanced uh, role styles. And before I begin this tutorial, I want to quickly uh, do a wonderful shout out to Haxar Plays YT uh, for letting me use his Haxar's community server, which has a few boosts left uh, that I could actually uh, show off this update. Now, I haven't really done an official uh, shout out before for another content creator, uh, but this will be the first as I am using uh, his server, uh, and that is Haxar Plays. He is a Twitch streamer and a YouTube creator. Uh, who streams nearly every day and personally i find his streams uh, very entertaining he does lots of different uh, games uh, and he's trying to grow his community right now so i really highly recommend that you show him some love and support by checking out his channel but yeah anyways i just want to shout him out because he does put a lot of hours into his twitch streams and a lot of work into it and he is very entertaining so i want to you know seem to continue to thrive and grow and so if you want to check his content out it'll be linked in the description below and uh, let's continue right back to the tutorial all right so firstly how did i get to this page so there is a server boost page on your server uh you have to of course you have to have admin permission i believe uh or some sort of moderator permission to actually see this tab and actually be able to edit it uh, so make sure you are the owner of the server hopefully and then you can actually do this uh, as well as you have to have at least three server boosts uh, because you need to basically spend the boosts in order to get these new features make sure you are owner of course make sure you have at least three server boosts on your server and by the way just to check if you actually have access to this just go into just click on your server settings click server boost and then scroll down and you'll see the additional perks section here so if you don't see this section you don't have access yet but most people should have this uh, by the time you're watching this video if not everyone so I'm just pointing that out if you're watching this really early. But anyway, so you'll go to the server boost tab here and you'll see the different levels and the new perks that they just added. Uh, now, once again, I want to quickly remind you uh, that this is the new way that they're doing it. You have to spend boosts in order to get perks. So you can't have level three and these perks if you only have 14 boosts. And the reason why is because, well, you have to spend seven boosts to get level three, five and one and two for level two and one. That's a total you spent all 14. So that's the issue here. And that's why, um, you know, it really depends on what you actually want for your server. You know, what type of upgrades you actually want. Uh, if you don't want, you know, if you don't really care about, you know, extra emoji slots, better audio quality, you know, animated server icon or any of that. Uh, then, of course, just downgrade this and just buy these new perks. So that's what we're going to have to do today. So we're going to have to basically disable these perks here. Uh, well, we only have to disable level three, so we have six boosts at least, so we could spend them for this. Uh, so to disable, you'll just click on disable perk in the bottom left, and it'll say you'll get the boost right back. So there's no like, there's no uh, I guess discipline or anything for um, undoing an upgrade. Uh, you don't like lose boosts or anything like that, or have to pay anything, uh, which is once again a very good thing. Uh, of course, you can always view the perks by clicking view perks on any of them, and you'll see what they do. Uh, but anyways, we're going to refund the 7 from this one. So it says, if you choose to disable this perk, level 3 will be removed from, well, from your member account. Uh, so we will disable that. And now we're no longer level 3. 
Uh, so now we have seven available to spend. So this is kind of how they're doing it. Once again, in the future, they'll probably add more of these things here so you could actually upgrade more. Uh, but nonetheless, though, we'll just do that. So now we're going to uh, enable both of these by just clicking enable uh, for three server boosts each. So there we go. Server tag enabled. And then we'll do the same for role styles. Enable, role styles enabled. There we go. So now these things are both enabled and we actually, you know, we could actually do them. So firstly, let's do a quick guide on server tag setup and how to make your own and join others. So I've already done these videos before, so I won't do go in too in depth, but I'll try and cover everything in this video today. So we're going to go into the settings. We're going to click on your server, click on server settings, and then we're going to go to the top under server profile and click on server tag. So now you'll have an option to enable the server tag which essentially creates the tag for your server so then any member that's in your server can apply it to their account. So all you're going to do is click enable server tag right here and save changes. And then you could choose a tag that's up to four characters long as well as a symbol and a color of that symbol. Once again, I go over this more in depth in my creation video, uh, which will also be linked in my channel if you click on my channel below. And, but nonetheless, though, we'll still cover the same things. So, uh, choose the name. For this one, we're going to, in honor of Hacksar Plays, we're going to name it Hack. All right. And he also requested that I do a heart. So, we're going to be doing a heart symbol here. And we're going to do this uh, nice bright pink color here. Okay. Uh, so, now that is the hack tag. Uh, you could obviously choose any you want. Uh, I'll quickly note here, once again, uh, that you can have the same tag as other servers. So uh, try and think of a unique tag. I mentioned this in my other video. Uh, you know, try and think of a unique tag. Now there's not, I, I'm, if I had to guess, probably any word you could probably think of is already taken. Uh, you know, but, you know, try and make your tag as unique as possible because if you choose some common one like dev or something like that, well, there's probably another, you know, 1,000 servers that have it. So, you know. It, the likelihood of someone finding your, finding your server uh, by clicking on your tag is pretty slim. Uh, but nonetheless, though, choose whatever you'd like, uh, and that's about it. And another thing here, updating your server tag will require all your members to manually reapply the tag to their profile. So let's say you already had a tag set. If you change the name of the tag, uh, then everyone that has the tag on already will not change at all. And this is pretty obvious as, you know, it says we do this to prevent abuse, which is you know, it makes sense because you could change this to any word you like. You could change it to not a nice word. And then suddenly uh, the people that have your tag on doesn't have the, the nicest word on their profile. So that's why they don't really change it. They just leave it as whatever it was. But it still links to the same server. Uh, so anyways, we're going to do hack for this one with a pink heart here. And of course, you could always choose a custom color by clicking on the uh, ink picker or whatever you call it uh, right here. And you could choose any color uh, from the entire I mean, hex code scale. So if you want to choose any color you like, you can just drag it all through here uh, to get uh, the right color you want. Uh, but we're going to leave it as this pink and simply save changes. So there we go. So now it says you don't have the server tag on your own profile yet. Would you like to adopt it? So it actually asks if you'd like to adopt, uh, adopt the tag for your profile. So you can click adopt tag and it will be applied to your profile. Uh, now I want to quickly show you how to uh, put on any tag you would like. Um, so let's say you're in multiple servers uh, that have discord tags and once this is out to everyone uh, If I had to guess most servers will probably have a tag for their servers So you'll probably have at least a few tags to choose from if you're in quite a few servers already uh, So you'll basically just go to your user settings in the bottom left Then you'll click on profiles now. I have to quickly disable streamer node You'll click on profiles and you'll see all your you know profile settings here And we're just gonna scroll down and at the very bottom. There'll be server tag and then you can just click the down arrow here and you can see all the servers that you're in that uh, has a tag and you can choose whichever one you like. And you can see we, we can see the one that we just created uh, called Hack uh, in uh, Hacksaw's community. So if you wanted to choose that one that we just created, just simply click on it and apply it to your profile. And then it'll just you know appear on your profile. So if I sa save changes, uh, we can see that it appears on my profile right now. And if someone was to go to my profile, uh, they could click on the tag itself and click go to server and they'll be brought to the server. So it's a good way of advertising your server. And if you, you know, really push everyone in your server to wear your tag, uh, it's a good way to, you know, get extra members and get some extra eyes on your server uh, just through the tags simply by itself. All right, so that is sort of, you know, a quick 
uh, tutorial on tags and how to create them. Uh, now, quickly, let me show you how to get any tag you like, that, or the easiest way I'd like. Uh, is basically just to go to the server discovery on the bottom left. Go to the servers tab, then at the top right, search up guild tags list. Click search, and you'll see here guild tags list with 150k members, and you'll click on this to join it. Uh, and then you'll go to the R tags uh, channel here, and there'll be a long list of a bunch of the most popular tags and their connected Discord servers. So it's a great way of finding, you know, some of the good tags uh, that you'd like uh, and just simply clicking the server to join them instantly. So you don't have to try and, you know, so you don't have to try and scour uh, through Discord users and other servers to try and find, you know, the tag that you actually want. But that's just a quick way on how to get uh, any tag you'd like. Um, so anyways, uh, let me show you this enhanced role styles. Now, I haven't actually done a video on this, so I do want to, you know, make sure I go over everything here. Uh, but this is uh, a really cool thing as well. So if we go to server settings again, and we go to roles, and we click on create a role. So now we can create a new role here, and we can see that these new options are now here. And this is really, really, really clean. And I really like this update. Uh, and I want to show you uh, sort of what you could do with it. So if you look, if you just name the role, let's name it gradient, for example. Uh, let's save changes here. We could choose the different color types. Okay, so now there's two different versions now with this upgrade. Uh, there is gradient and holographic. Now solid is just a solid color, um, so it's just you know it's whatever the color is. Uh, but if you go to gradient here, we could see that you could actually create a custom gradient or just a picked one uh, by just choosing each color on each side here. So if I wanted a let's say a bright yeah uh, sorry bright blue into a bright green gradient i could change it to that and click save changes and that's really it that's pretty straightforward but you can see what it looks like down here and you can see how how it glows and so if you wanted to test it here i could just drag it let me just drag this roll above everyone quickly and let me just give it to Haxar here just to see what it looks like on his account and we can just apply it and there we go so look at that thing look, look at that it literally glows it looks so clean like it's so clean it makes the emojis glow everything glow in that gradient and it's also changing colors so it's not just a set gradient uh, it's glowing and it's actually you know a moving gradient so it actually looks even more clean uh, and you can see this is what it looks like in the chat so whenever you hover over it it glows a bright color and it looks really nice and i think it's very very clean and if we wanted to do the other version which is uh holographic uh, we go back to rolls here edit the gradient roll and click on holographic so it says here, the holographic roll style doesn't require you to select any colors. And the reason why is because, well, I'll show you right now. So if we actually just go out of here and then just hover over it, we could see that it just, it's, I mean, it's like a set color, sort of a set color, color scheme. You can't actually check the color scheme or change the color scheme. Uh, but it's another version of Gradient that has multiple colors in it. And I think it's also very clean because especially, you know, they could add a lot more different versions of this, uh, you know, to really, you know, change your customization uh, for the colors here and who knows they might think of other ways to uh, customize the role colors but for now this is a very 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 cool way to uh, to change it and make it really stand out and i think that uh, if your whole server had this for every single role uh, everyone would stand out and in general it'll just make the chats a lot more lively and a lot more Clean. And of course, as always, you could always choose, a, you know, a roll icon with it, but that's just a separate, that's just part of, you know, level two perks, I believe, uh, to actually do that. So that's not part of the, the new gradient extra feature. Uh, but overall, though, I think this feature is very, very clean. And I think that it is very cool. And of course, you guys, you could always disable these perks whenever you'd like by clicking disable perk in the bottom left on them. Uh, so if you do not use, end up using one of them, you could always disable it uh, to rebuy one of the uh, levels here if you have enough boosts and of course once your boosts expire uh, these features will disappear so make sure your server stays up to date with at least uh, three server boosts or six depending how much how many of these you're using um, but nonetheless though make sure to watch on your expiry date on your uh, boosts or else you will uh, most likely lose all the things that you just added I mean, it'll, it'll save your progress, but it'll just, it'll just disable it for your server. But anyways, though, guys, that is today's tutorial on both of the new boosting perks. And I think they are very, very cool. I don't really see anything wrong with them, honestly. I mean, before, tags were a little bit, uh, I, you know, 
controversial, I guess you could say, like just what you could do with them uh, and what people were doing with them. Uh, but nonetheless, though, now I think they're actually used in a really good way. And uh, these two, two new perks will be released to all the servers very, very soon within the next couple of days or less. So uh, make sure to, uh, you know, follow this tutorial once they uh, both come out to your server. Or if you're watching this in the future or whenever uh, and you are actually setting these up, I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any further questions, please join my Discord server. It'll be linked in the description below. Uh, once I hit 3,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away also um, more Nitro. So make sure to join up in there and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of different discord tutorials and I put a lot of time into these videos and I want to make sure that these videos are you know very uh, very informational I guess you'd say and uh, you know I, I don't like to spit uh, skip over things uh, when I do um, tutorials on different things so uh, I do put a lot of effort to these so it is really nice to see uh, when you when uh, people show me support uh, by subscribing and I should be back to a more consistent uh, uploading schedule now uh, and finally have some time off so i'll be able to do a little more, more uploads uh but nonetheless though uh, that is t today's tutorial so make sure to subscribe once again uh make sure to check out hackstar plays he'll be in the link in the description below once again as well uh that's a little shout out that i'd like to have in this video and uh of course you know join my server and i'll see you guys in the next discord tutorial hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye-bye.